Happy New Year and welcome back to the 2023 Digital Planner Creation Masterclass. I hope you are enjoying this series and in today's video, we are going to add the tabs of our digital planner. I'm going to use shapes to add the tabs, so tap the plus icon and under the basic category, I'm going to use this shape. Resize it and when resizing, you can just eyeball the height and width of the tabs. Then change the color to any color that you like and I'm going to use blue. Then add a shadow effect to make it look more realistic and I'm going to use this one. Then copy this element and then paste. I want the tabs to be overlapping one another so I'm going to change the color of the second one to just see where the first one ends and the other one begins. Since these tabs are for my monthly sections, I'm going to duplicate these tabs until I have 12. To make the process faster, make sure to use the select object and then copy and then paste. Also, a useful tip, make use of the guides too to make sure that the tabs are aligned to one another. Once I have added the 12 tabs, I'm going to customize their colors to differentiate each of them. It's okay if you're not satisfied with their sizes yet as I'm going to show you in a moment how I resize these tabs to make sure that they still have the same sizes. Now let me show you how to resize them so that the tabs occupy the entire left side of the notebook. First, select them using the select objects, then tap done, and then tap group. Then use the small circles and adjust. This technique makes the resizing easier and faster. Then I just reposition the group so that there is still a small gap between the end of the screen and the start of the tabs in the left side. Then under arrange, tap and group. Now to create the illusion that there is depth, I want the lowest tab to be farthest from the viewer and the topmost tab the nearest for this page template. So select the highest one and under arrange, adjust this slider until the tab is behind the first page. For the second tab, adjust the slider until it is behind the second page. The third tab should be behind the third page. Since I only added three pages, the succeeding tabs will be behind each other at the back of the third page. Then adjust all of the tabs until the last one. Once you have adjusted all of the tabs and placed them where you want them to be, double tap on the shape to add the labels of each of them. After adding the labels, under text in the brush icon, turn on the vertical text and then adjust this. For the font style, I'm going to use Impact. For the color, I'm going to use White. I also adjusted the size to 20 and then the margin to 4. Then repeat that to the rest of the tabs. For the labels, since the tabs are a bit small and I want to clearly see the months, I just use the first three letters of each of the month. But if you prefer adding all the letters, you can play around the font size and the margin. 
Also, if you want your tabs to flip from one side of the notebook to the other side, I have a Skillshare class where I showed my step-by-step -step process and you can use the link in the description box below to watch it for free. And also, if you have any suggestions on what you want to see in 2023, make sure to comment them down below because once we finish the 2023 Digital Planner Masterclass series, I will start organizing my notion for all the contents I plan to do this year here but I also want those videos to help you and to make sure that you want to see them so let me know. Now that I have added all the labels on the tabs and once you are satisfied with the setup of the tabs, select all of them and then lock. Let's work on the tabs in the upper side of the notebook. For the tabs in the upper left, it will be for the yearly subsections which are the future log pages and the goals pages. I'm using the same type of shapes as I used in the month's label but I will be using a different shadow effect for these tabs. Once I have created one of the tabs, I just duplicated it until I have six. The first two tabs will be for the goals, personal goals, and goals for 6p pixel. And I have a few interesting projects for this year so make sure that you are subscribed to be the first to know once I have announced them. The other four tabs are going to be my future logs divided in four sections. Once the six tabs are added, let's do the same process of resizing as what we did earlier. For the arrangement, the leftmost tab will be the nearest one and the rightmost tab will be the farthest from the viewer so make sure to adjust the slider accordingly. For the colors of the tab, I want them to be super light and airy so I have chosen the colors from the last row in the color presets. For the labels, the first tab will be goals which will be for my personal goals for this year. For the font style, I'm again using Impact. For the size, I kept it at 18 and I adjusted the margin to 7. The second tab, I labeled it as 6B Goals which I am not sure if my camera lets you see and since the label is quite long, I have played around the size and the margin to fit it all in. So if my settings are not working for your design, you can always play around those settings. For the third tab, I just labeled it as Q1 since this will be for the first quarter of the year. There's quite a lot of space for this one so I used 18 as the font size and 7 for the margin. I also used these settings for the remaining tabs which are Q2 for the second quarter, Q3 for the third, and Q4 for the last quarter. Thank you. 
Now that those are done, I'm going to work on the tabs in the upper right side. Since I will also be using 6 tabs here, I just copied the other 6 sets of tabs from the left. The tabs in the left page, both the upper and the side, will be for the monthly subsections. And for the tabs at the top, the first one is for the calendar. The second tab is for the memories page. I plan to have the same content format for both the calendar page and the memory page, but I will use them differently. The calendar page will be for planning and for the memory page will be for memory keeping. And I have a lot of adventures planned for 2023, so I'm so excited to use both the calendar page and the memory page. To also differentiate these tabs from the tabs in the left side page, I changed the colors and I have chosen colors from the third row from the bottom in the preset colors. The third tab is for my habit trackers. In 2022, I realized that I love tracking my habits so I will continue it this year. The next tab will be for my other trackers and these are usually the sleep and the mood tracker but I have been planning on also adding a finance tracker this year. For the last two tabs, I want to still have flexibility in the design so I'm going to leave them blank for now. After setting all of those up, select all of the 6 tabs, then in the Arrange, turn on the Lock. The last set of tabs I'm going to add are the tabs for the weekly pages. I plan on only having 10 subsections for the weekly pages because most of the months only contains 5 weeks and for the months with 6 weeks, they usually don't have a complete 7 days so I'm just gonna combine those weeks on the other weeks. I'm not sure if I explained that correctly but make sure to watch the next videos for this series. Each week of the month will have 2 dedicated tabs which will be for planning and the other one for journaling. Since these tabs are just a copy of the monthly tabs, I am deleting their labels. And because this is the main design template, the labels here will change depending on the month so I'm going to leave them blank for now. And I will be going to customize their labels when we are already in the stage of creating the monthly subsections. Although I'm not going to add the labels, I'm going to play around the colors for these tabs. After setting the colors of all of the tabs, I realized that I do not like the colors of the tabs for the monthly subsection, so I'm going to change them. And this stage of the process is the best time to make major changes and finalize the design for the notebook page design, the binder style that you're going to use, and the annual tabs, both the labels and colors. And also the size and position too because it will be a little harder to make changes later on. And if you're following along and you have the same design, it is okay if you're not sure about the colors for the tabs in the right page for now because we are going to customize them later on when we are creating the monthly subsections.
and now we have finalized the main design template if you're excited to see the next video make sure to comment organize with tabs in the comment section below and if you have any questions let me know and see you in the next video bye